Hey, hopefully we are live. Hold on a second. It doesn't look like we are. There we go. Can you guys hear the music? Is everything going okay? I think you can see me. We're, just, we're, do, we're doing new like Streamlabs OBS now. And so if things are new, let me know if you can hear me. So far you have tunes. That's good. Do you have voice? I think you do. Looks like you do. Let me know. <laughs> Yay, everything sounds good. Awesome. So today is cool. Today is a building day. It's been a while since we had one. Hey, 3 Zero Studio, Cajun Mage, Amberton, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for coming by. We're going to be doing a giveaway as well, but that won't be till toward the end of the stream. I'm going to do that like in the last 30 minutes or so because every month I'm going to be trying to do a Creature Caster subscriber giveaway. So this is for my subscribers because you guys help me, you know, promote the stream. You help me um build the stream everything so i give back to you so hey jimmy how you doing good good all right um let's first of all we're going to show off overhead so i have a new craft paper which it 
It says gray on the package, but it did not. It's like not gray, it's brown. And I'm not happy with it. So let's take a look overhead here. So, well, it's, no, it's not gray at all. It's all right. So we have our creature caster right here. We're gonna stick that so you can kind of see. Yay, creature caster. Bit of a video delay. Audio is a little ahead. Yeah, I'm still not sure. The music died when I went live. Let me see if I can fix that. I think I can fix that. That would be, hang on. Let's see, 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 see. Okay, hold on, I gotta go back to editor. There we go. Hmm. So you're not hearing my music. Oh, let me try. That didn't work at all, did you? Oh my gosh, mad love to 30 Studio for subscribing. We can actually write down subscribers today too because I'm not using that other thing. We're gonna get our music back, don't worry. It might still be going, it's just very quiet. Let's try this. Is that better? Hi, Maroon, how are you? I just turned up the music. Please tell me if you can hear it. I just don't want it to be, you can hear the music. So it was turned down, okay. There we go, three zero. Studio, thank you so much. Yay, mad love. Yeah, it was a volume, perfect. You're doing color listing for our dear winter. And I have no idea what that means, Maharoon. Color listing? You're listing colors for, for winter? All right, so here's what we are doing. Let me get out this model. This is how it comes. It comes in a big box. On the back, they don't really label it. They just put the initials. King of Ruin is what I guess that stands for. And throw that down. This right here is our giveaway. We're gonna be giving away the Queen of Ecstasy. Oh, he's moving over to different painting brands, nice. Oh, I get it, I get it, okay. The Wolf of Winter, yes. Hi, Teviston. You guys gotta have, you gotta see how many parts are in this model. This is a, kind of like the similar to the GW's Great Unclean one. That's it, that's all of it. That's so much. That is plenty, right? I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna just squeeze Creature Caster in the corner so much. He's got two different heads that you can pick from. I'll do that, there we go. Two different heads, he's got sort of like a mini jowled chin look and then a one-eyed, very toothy maw with a tongue look with like slightly less chins. <laughs> Yay, cat herder. <laughs> How are you? Massive painting surface, exactly. Yeah, you. I'm gonna be using an airbrush with this guy. He's huge, look at that. That is a lot of resin. And this is their awesome, this is their Creature Catcher logo. And then this is their base. Oh, everything is cre crazy detailed. So if this is a human skull, that's his body. So it gives you, an, a, a, he is a, an immense god of grossness and grotesqueness. Okay, so first, I'm gonna keep the bags separate. We're gonna be building and clipping off lots of pieces of resin and he's got these two feet. That's probably, let's start with the base and the two feet. He does have, well, once you get that painted, it's not quite so jolly. There we go, he's a little bit more in focus now. Thankfully we can see stuff while I've got it on the desk here. All right, we got a lot to do, we got a lot to talk about. Um, I'm gonna pause the music here for a second because I have a big announcement to make. Hold on a second, I'm gonna turn it down just a skosh so you can hear me over it. I'm gonna turn the music down and we're gonna do face cam. So, it was Friday, I put a donation goal up on the chat, and so if you weren't here Friday, I'm gonna tell you all about it. We put a donation goal of $300, and I expected to get it in three months. We made it that exact same day. I was shocked. And so I let the chat vote. Remember how I told you how we're gonna be crowds, crowdfunding a whole library of music and songs for the chat, right? 
and it's all going to be copyright owned by me. So that means that it is all going to be like brand new created music. No one has ever heard before for you guys. And so it's going to be exclusive. I won't have to worry about copyrights on Twitch, on YouTube, on any of my platforms because I'll own it. And so you guys are going to get to be the first to hear the first song. First of all, I got to tell you, be careful when you let your chat vote on something. Because I let my chat vote and they picked J-pop and Japanese metal, which I'm not actually, I learned that I'm not actually a J-pop fan. I mean, I can listen to it, but I don't think I like it. I do, however, like the Japanese metal. I know, it's going to be a doozy. <laughs> Plastic crack for the win, exactly. So, without further ado, I'm going to let you go. We're going to debut the first song that I bought and purchased for the channel. I'm going to pray that it is actually not already somebody some I'm going to pray that nobody ripped this off some other artist and just tried to sell it to me because that's a danger because I don't know of the genre I don't know if this is really an original or not but it's I did put it through Soundhound and it didn't come up with anything so that's a really good sign you already love my intro song this is not okay so the intro song is completely different from what I'm going to let you guys hear all right so I'm hoping that this will work right I'm going to turn off the background music. All right, and I'm going to turn up the desktop audio while I let you guys listen to this a little bit. This is the Japanese metal. It may be a little difficult for me to paint over, but we'll be we'll be able to um, judge that once you guys listen to this. All right, ready? All right, here we go. This is the Japanese metal song. I really want to hear your reactions. Can you guys hear it? It's a little quiet. Okay, it gets better. All right, I turned it up a lot more. It's coming through my lab. Okay, I turned up the volume a lot. All right, I see some thumbs up. It means you can hear it. Oh, it sounds like Bloodstain Chow. Oh, please don't let it be from them. I really hope that it's actually an original tune. I can see myself talking over this. It's pretty, it's pretty fast paced. It's gonna make me wanna paint fast, but it's also gonna be, I think it's a good, it's a good song. I see some thumbs up. This is good. I'm going to be getting six new tunes. Three J-pop and three J Japanese metal. That's from that $300. So every $300 I'll be trying to buy about six songs. Yeah, are you, are you digging it? <laughs> I can use this as an intro song too. This is pretty awesome. It's like a five minute song too. I got I got a good deal on this one. Yeah, I love it. Got a good ending too. I'm 
almost over. <laughs> nope, actually it's got a wave. It's got another three, another quarter left. It's a long one. So this is gonna be a good one for me to build over probably because it's gonna give me a lot of motivation, I think. Some songs are gonna be better for other things. It definitely sounds Japanese, and it definitely sounds metal. That was what I liked about it the best. <laughs> it was so hard to find a Japanese metal producer. I had to, I had, it took me a while. <laughs> Team Chaos, exactly. <laughs> you can hear some of the traditional Japanese instruments, like the, I think that's a sitar in the background. Like an electric sitar. Hey, the Banana Beast. We're listening to one of the new songs that we bought with some of the crowdfunded money from the... Wait. Where's the end? Yay! Okay, that was awesome. I'm so psyched. Okay, I can shut that now. We can go back to our regular music. Oop, I'm gonna turn that down. We got that loud. Douche. There we go. Can you still hear my background music? Hopefully it's not too loud. Everyone's gonna start using Shoshi Rocks. Yeah. So my, like I said, my, we're gonna make a jukebox basically of a whole bunch of different genres. Next time I put a donation bar up, I'm not gonna put another donation bar up until all the six songs are done. But the next time I put up a donation box for another $300, I'm gonna give you guys like five genres to choose from. That way I don't get something crazy that is gonna be really hard for me to find a producer for because it's very important because I really only want to work with a couple people. I don't want to work with like a million different producers. Yeah, Shoshi, they won't be able to. That's the thing, F uh, Falcon Punch Junk. This is all ours. This is only in the Shoshi's music channel. This is only in my channel and only my followers are gonna get to hear this. So it's gonna be very unique. But what I am hoping is that this will kick off a maybe a revolution in streamers not using copyrighted works um, and actually paying royalties or paying musicians who are also artists for their work. Because I think musicians have it even more rough than painters. And um, they often have to like get their start by giving out their music for free. And I don't really understand that I really believe that artists of all kinds should be paid because they are providing something. So that's a big deal to me. <laughs> Synth reggae. Yeah, no, that's not going to be on the list, Lamunas. Hi, Slag Bomb. Sneaky small. Tiny sneaky small. Yeah, but I really do hope that this makes a difference. I do know that, you know, streaming uh, and, and plat platforms across the board are going to be cr cracking down on things like this in the future. That's just the way things are going. And so we're ahead of the game. We're gonna, we're never gonna have to deal with that because we're gonna have all of our own music. Sounds like an awesome and fantastic idea. Yes, so it's, it's not only is it we get our own music, but we're helping to help other creatives grow and hopefully maybe give them some exposure and also, I mean, not just exposure, but paid exposure, right? Because um, everybody who is I'm buying work from, I'm allowing them to use whatever work they make for me in their portfolios, as long as they don't sell the rights or let anyone else use the songs. Only they can use them. 
the way you got to look at it, you're sort of giving your art away for free as well as the form if pictures and videos. Exactly. Slag bomb. Exactly. That's, that's one of the things. Like, um, I personally stream. I don't put my stuff behind a paywall, but that's my choice. I want to do that for you guys. And I'm, you know, you can, you see that I do things differently than other people. I pay people for their work, but at the same time, I give my own away, right? So it's, it's different. So, <laughs> hey, Genuine Vision, you just missed the Japanese metal song. You're going to have to go back and watch it on Nevada. We had an amazing little mini concert with the debut of our first um, crowdfunded Japanese metal song. All right, let's get let's get to building. We got an enormous model, and it's gonna take some time. All right, whoa, Fossey eighty one with the subscription. Thank you so much with your Twitch Prime, and you've been subscribed for three months. Thank you. Wow. So here's Fossey. I'm gonna write down your name, and um, I'll I'll let you guys know we are having a subscriber giveaway today. We're going to be giving away the Queen of Ecstasy. That's what the QEC stands for. We'll do a little unboxing of her and um, not baby metal, not lady, lady baby. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to say this. We're not buying other people's music. We're getting brand new music made just for us. It's not going to be lady baby because if I were to try to license stuff from lady baby or baby metal, it will cost a mint because they are already world famous and everything. I'm getting producers um, who are making original content for the stream. So only we have the rights to it. Nobody else. Yes. <laughs> so it may sound like something. It's not, none, nothing is going to have lyrics either. It's all going to be instrumental because it's background music. I can't. Um, also, I think instrumental is a lot less expensive. And uh, yeah, I don't know anybody who sings in Japanese either. Yes, let's look at the beast again. He's over, he's right here. Once that beast is built, you're probably gonna have trouble painting it on camera due to the two shot. Well, you'd be surprised. We painted the Dragon King. We can also sub-assemble him also. We painted the Dragon King on stream and it was great. There's Fossey81. Thank you, Mad Love, for that. Let's give some um, hype for 3-0 Studio on Mad Love if we didn't already. Let's give some hype. <laughs> Building a base for the butcher, driving you nuts with the skulls. 33 done. Bugger knows how many more to go. <laughs> That's a lot. Ooh. And now I've got my, what is the heck? Oh, OK, there we go. I. I actually really love these Citadel Clippers. They're super strong, and I'm going to be using them pretty much throughout this entire video. And we have lots of sprues on things. You have the most amazing chocolate for me to try? Oh, I'm doing keto right now, Jan, but I will hoard it if you send it to me. And I will save it until the day I can eat chocolate again. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm going to be, I already cut myself recently. You can kind of see there's a little cut right there. So I'm going to really try to avoid that by keeping my hands and fingers out of the way of the blade. There we go. We're going to do mold line second, sprues first. That'll be a little bit easy. Okay, Amber is going to go lurk. Thank you. So tell me about this amazing chocolate bar. Sounds really good. Is it Irish chocolate or is it from someplace else? Did you get, did, you went to Dublin recently, didn't you? Did you get, uh, did you get um, some kind of chocolatier from Dublin? Cut away from myself. It's so hard to cut it. I actually don't control it as well when I cut away sneaky. I will, I will do it though so you guys won't have to cringe. So, I've been watching this TV show on Netflix called Outlander. And I don't know if you've seen it. I've never seen it before. It's absolutely fantastic. I've been talking to 30 Studio about it all week. And it's about this English woman who goes back in time and um, 
basically meets this, like, base, she goes back in time to 1774 Scotland and, like, what it was like back then. It's fantastic. Hey, Lady B. Minters, how are you? Cadbury is Dairy Milk is Marvelous Creations. That sounds really good. Ooh, I need to try. I like to. So there's a difference between the Cadbury from the U.S. and from Australia and from Canada and from the U.K. And let me just tell you, the U.K. version is the best, as you well know. It's from it's from where it's from, and it's fantastic. Let me see if I can clip this. This is crazy. There. I don't know if I'm gonna get this side off. Ooh, there. I don't I don't like having like tons of little pieces all over the place, so I'm gonna get rid of those right now. Wish you could stay for the giveaway, but it's on just 4 a.m. and you need your Oh Jimmy, I understand. Well, tell you what, I will try to rotate each month which day I do my giveaways on. So maybe next time. We'll do it on a Wednesday, and that'll be a little bit easier for you to get to, because that's my late night stream. And then we'll do it on a Friday another time. So all the, all the different time zones, I uh, just made a chunk out of my base. We'll hope that nobody notices it. I like my building streams because I'm able to really like watch chat and pay attention so much better. I can kind of keep my glasses on the whole time. That's another thing. Except when I'm getting the mold lines. That's something I usually have to take glasses off for. All right, that's good enough. <laughs> So I've been doing keto diet, so I've been really like off the sugar, off the chocolate for about five weeks now. Today's the fifth week, the first day of the fifth week, and I've lost 11 pounds. So I've lost all my Australia weight that I gained when I was in Australia for sure. And then we're hoping to keep going and get in a healthier zone. By the way, don't breathe the resin dust whenever you're, I really should be wearing a mask, but I'm not. Men in kilts, I know, yes. Redheads, I don't know about you, but I do like redheads. There's a lot of Scottish redheads. Mike is a redhead, even though he's, his, his redheads comes from Irish. <laughs> King of Ruin, you're a glutton for punishment. We're just building it, Chewy. It's gonna be fine. We may paint him on stream. We may paint partially paint him. Where does this go? He's got two left feet. There. There. Okay, there's his feetsies. He's a he's a biggin. Burk. Hey yo, Proto Maker. How's things look? How does the stream sound and look to you? I think we're doing pretty good so far. We debuted our first uh, crowdfunded Japanese metal song, and that came out that came out really well. I think everybody really liked it. All right, I'm just looking. That is okay. So that's good. Okay, well that's flat chunk. I really love these clippers. They are so good. I want to say that Redgrass Games came out with a new pair of clippers. I gotta try. I don't know how good they are. I'd like to see. Redgrass Games is one of our channel sponsors, so maybe I can get them to send me some to, to review. I'm sure they would. Speaking of Redgrass Games, do exclamation point Redgrass. Um, I do have a coupon code there. Is it a coupon code? It's an affiliate link. I take that back. It's not a coupon code. It's an affiliate link so that if you do want to buy something from Redgrass Games, whether it's brushes or a Redgrass Games wet palette, I do get a little kickback from that from them. 
Yeah, thank you for that, Chewy. Falcon says, when we were in Europe last year, we spent time in Germany and Austria and Switzerland. We stopped at the Chocolatiers and we would tell them we're trying to determine which country had the best chocolate and they always had some special chocolate they would bring out that was amazing to prove they were the best. I'm so going to use that. I'm so, uh, so I also have a chocolate blog and um, Zotta, which is an Austrian chocolate company, which if you haven't tried that Falcon Punch Drunk, Fal Falcon Punch Drunk, you haven't lived. Zotta, here I'll spell it for you guys. Zotto chocolate is the best Austrian chocolate I have ever had. I think that's how it is, Zotto. And it's fantastic. Highly, highly recommend. All right, remember, we're not doing mold lines right now. I don't want to get too caught up in all that. That'll take forever. We're just going to cut all the sprues off everything first. Later, you gotta show me the work you were doing last night. Oh, what was I working on last night? What the heck? I don't even remember. Do you, Chewy, what was I doing? I could have swore I was painting a Kingdom Death model. That's right, let me go get it. I'll be right back. Okay, I finished this model right here. Can we see her? We can't see her. Let's, let me switch up my camera real quick here. Overhead, properties. All right, bear with me while I configure so that you can see her. Let's put her right here. So we're gonna do camera control and focus. There she is. Apply, done. So this is Harley Quinn, or this is the investment sniper from Kingdom Death. And I was painting this little golf bag full of arrowheads the whole time I was talking to Chewy yesterday. Yeah, she does, sound, she looks like Harley Quinn a lot. So she came out really cool. This girl's gonna be for sale. Um, I'm gonna be, I don't know, how, I'm probably gonna put her in the Kingdom Death sales group and I've got a bunch of other Kingdom Death things I need to get sold as well. Yeah, the palette was fun. You don't usually get to use those kind of colors on Kingdom Death models. Then, I also wanted to show you Naoti. Look at how beautiful. I don't know if you gotta see her. She looks so much better. This is, this is the piece that I'm painting for an N. Laminus, and he's super excited about her. Let's see if I can get her all on camera. Let's adjust the camera one more time. Camera. Where's the properties? There we go. Configure video. Here we go. All right, let's try to, let's do the focus, the focus. Here, we'll put it right there and focus on that. There, apply, done. Oh, look at how pretty. She just came out. She's 75 millimeters. She's from Chimera Models. Um, I actually have a 15% discount. If you do, I think, I think exclamation point Chimera might work or we can just put the code in the chat. Yep, there it is. So it just, the bot just came up with it on its own. You show she's code coupon. Shows you 15, thank you for that. You can get her 15% off any of the models or any of the paints that um, are not currently discounted in their store. You can, oh, thank you, Jan. Yeah, I'm really, really proud of her. The sheer stockings, exactly. The I love the little sparkles on her dress. Everything came out amazing. The skin tone is the thing I am probably the happiest about. So yeah, that's, that's Naoti. Let's go back, let's see if we can, yeah, we can do that. We'll leave it 
right here so you can see what I'm doing. You can still see the board, right? Thank you, you guys. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't mind disrupting the stream because I meant to, I've forgotten, I meant to talk about that anyway, so it's no problem. Chewy, uh, last night I, I've been starting to try to hang out in the Triptych Di um, Discord voice chat every now and then. Um, and so I may actually do a thing where after streams, I go into the voice chat for a little while and you guys can chill and chat. We'll see. Maybe not every time, but a lot of the times. All right, we're gonna put all this finished stuff up here and keep getting, oh my goodness, so many sprues. <laughs> 43 skulls on the Kingdom Death base. Oh, Mikolas, just subscribed for seven months in a row. Hope you're having a great night. Thank you, Mikolas. Let me write down your name. Mikolas V11. There we go. Thank you so much. Mad love hype. Yes. <laughs> so if you're going to be sticking around until the end of the stream, about five o'clock, that's about two hours from now. That's right, three, four, five. Yeah, two hours from now, we're gonna be doing a giveaway of the Queen of Ecstasy. That's this box I have right here. That's a creature caster model. If you live in the United States, I'll pay for the shipping. If you live outside of the United States, you'll pay for shipping. So just, um, and this is gonna be a subscriber giveaway today. So you must be a subscriber to enter. We'll get it all figured out. I've, I've set up the bots. I've set up two bots just in case. Ooh, that went flying. This is the only thing I don't like about building is that little pieces ended up everywhere. Woo. Yes, almost a master painter. I need to get a few more of those um, little um, chat ranks built, don't I? I almost, I almost cut that little skull off. That would not have been good. Can you see that little skull right there? All right. Oh boy. All right, now here's the part we have to cut away. Ah, I want to cut this way. It's, I feel like I have so much more control. I'll just, I'll just try it this way. It's just, I feel like it doesn't work as well. We'll just file it. <laughs> you just got hit in the eye with a skull. I know that feeling. I'm glad I wear glasses or I would probably have a lot less, a lot less eyes. <laughs> Let's see. I almost wish I had one of those different kinds of blades with the flat chisel edge. I don't have any. I only have these number sevens and they're not, let me go. I feel like I have a chisel set somewhere. Let me go get it. Let me look. It wasn't in there. Let me see if it's in one of my other areas where I keep tools. I just don't think I have anything. Nope. Buh. I've been watching so much of this uh, Scottish thing. I almost said bugger, but uh, it's like <laughs> I've been watching way too much of that um, Scottish TV show. It's well, it's called Outlander and it's absolutely fantastic. And it's a time travel show. I, just, I love time travel um, as, a, as a genre. Is it a genre? Yeah, I guess it's a genre. Anyway, historical versus time travel versus yada yada. 
love it. Okay. It's a trope. Yeah, it is a trope. This is, this is personal. I got this from Creature Caster. It's part of my being in the Creature Caster program. And so I ordered it and I'm gonna paint it for you guys. And we may give away this as a painted mini. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. It'd be kind of crazy if I did. Or we may do like a crowdfunded giveaway where you guys basically do my commission. Like everybody would, you know, submit donations over time and then once we reach the the donation goal we the whole chat would get a chance to win it and what's nice about that is that you don't have to enter to win you don't have to donate to win um but i still kind of get paid if that makes sense that's what i like and it's you guys are supporting the chat as well as you know giving the chat an opportunity to win something cool you are wearing glasses, Jan, and ricocheted behind. Oh, that's the worst. All right. I'm not gonna try to get those super duper smooth. Just as long as I can get a good seal, that'll be good enough. Man, I see the mold lines. The mold lines are real. What anything with this much resin is going to have mold lines, so just expect it. A lot of people compare the uh, Outlander, uh, the author of Outlander, to George R. R. Martin. Really? What do they say? It's more of a period piece that takes liberties. Hey, Day Ray! Wow, I haven't seen you in here in a while. Whoop. Okay, good. That wasn't important. There we go. Crack. Is it because there's um, a lot of sex and a lot of violence? Is that why? Because I don't feel like they're the same at all. And I don't, I don't know. There's just something different I like about Outlander that I didn't really care for with Game of Thrones. But it is kind of an epic tale. <laughs> Tevinson says, if you're like, if you like time travel and anime, watch The Girl Who Leapt Through Time. I, I have trouble watching anime unless it's got, uh, it's, unless it's dubbed. And then it's usually not as good because I don't, um, how does this go? He's got, there we go. Oh, look at that body. Look at, <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> We're gonna have to put tape over his moves. Oh my gosh, he's so gross. Gross! Oh my god! <gasps> he has he has the berries. And I don't wanna know what else. <laughs> Surprise! Oh my god. Nope, that's it. He's that the rest is covered. <laughs> you lurk a lot. Lamuna says, uh, Timeshare miniatures. Wait, show she's timeshare miniatures. Everyone gets the model for one week for a year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you sure there's berries and not pustules? Um, that's true. They could be. They're in a. No, I think that they're. Yeah. <laughs> Just say boils. Okay. I'm not gonna go into detail why I think it's what it is. It's 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 special. <laughs> But I, this is um, Creature Caster, and they do not hesitate to have all the female bits, so I'm not at all surprised to find, you know, that other stuff. Hello, wow, you saw a bit much. I know, red, great, uh, great Red Dragon, I did too. I was a little shocked. All right, this, we need to clip down here. There we go. We're clipping off sprues to start. This is not the model we're giving away yet, anyway. Kind of don't want to... So awkward. There we go. All right, I have to take glasses off to see. 
because this is a little bit delicate right here. All right, that's better. Well, don't mess with the mold line, Shoshi. It's so tempting. We'll mess with mold lines in a minute. All right, let's pick which head do we like the best. We, I think I'm gonna clip both of them off the sprue and magnetize. I think we could actually do that with this guy. That'll be cool. <laughs> Day, Day Ray says, hey, you want to know why I think they're berries? Go fetch a model of your own. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There's um, multiple weapons with this guy, too. I'm not sure how easy it would be to um, magnetize those, but I like to throw away the big giant chunks of resin. And I personally like to cut off as much sprue as I can so that I don't have to don't have to carve it off like this with my Okay. That's good enough. Now we sand. Ew. All right, that's face number 1. We may do a poll and let chat choose which which head we're going to do. But I think magnetize, if it's possible to magnetize, I want to do that. This is why you have a, uh, have a Dremel to get, get rid of. Oh, you have, you do, you can use a Dremel to get rid of all the little stuff. I haven't thought of that. That would be really noisy on stream. I vote magnetize also. Don't worry. Let's see, let's see how it, ooh, ah, let's see how it looks with the faces in them. Okay, it doesn't quite, why doesn't it fit? There it goes. Okay, so there's a little bit of a gap. That one looks good. It looks pretty grotesque. There's some gap here that's not gonna be, that might be tricky. I'm trying to remember, a friend of mine did gap filler and then put it around and then, I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna fill the gap and Let's see. Why isn't that fitting? This is the second head and it doesn't want to go in. There. Okay, so just no. Yeah, that doesn't quite fit either. Hmm. It's just a little bit fussy. Hmm. Well, it oh, looks like we're going to have to um, with it a little bit. There we go. Sort of. It's still got a gap. That one fits slightly better there. Hmm. So far this one fits much more. Much better. Yeah, that. Oh, there we go. There's the gap's gone. Just needs. Now I can't get it out. Watch. Oh, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me see if I can get it out with pliers. May not be able to magnetize if, if we do this. You vote for the grotesque one? Ah, oh, Jesus. That was scary. All right, so note to self. Dry fitting is dangerous and hazardous if you want to magnetize. All right. This is one of the weapons. This is the big sword that has its own teeth. Holy cow. And it looks like there's like spine down here. This is really crazy. That looks pretty awesome though. Let's see, does that fit? No, that's a different arm. Let's see if this arm goes, nope. Hmm. Oh, there we go. That. It's like he's holding some guts right there. Okay, let's put that arm on and see what happens. Ah. Gruesome, it is gonna be really, can you guys imagine? And I paint in a realism style, so this guy is gonna be disgusting. I'm gonna show you guys, you're gonna be like, 
It'll be a nasty, nasty stream. Okay, so yeah, so that's, that's sort of like a tube. See how that goes? I'm covering up, I'm strategically covering up the spot that you don't, I don't want you to see. Anyway, so that, oh, we got uh, Iljamu. Thank you so much for the follow, welcome. So like I said, we've got little pipes of guts. Oh, he's holding his own, gross, super gross. All right, well, at least that fits in that arm. Let me put, let me see what happens if I put these legs on him. Oh, he's so gross. He's squatting fat. Just get some silly putty. Okay, hang, hang on, hang on. There we go. Now he's all covered up. <laughs> Safe for Twitch. I love it. All right, this had all the. Whoa, Mikolas, thank you for the host. I appreciate that. <laughs> Let's cut off here. All right, and then it looks like that needs some sanding. Ooh, I didn't mean to. Okay, let's do that. Da da. Brilliant. There we go. That's so nice. And we're not going to do the mold lines yet. We're almost through all the big pieces though with this with the sprues. At least all the big ones. There's a lot of little ones that are coming. Lots of these little chunky pieces to get rid of. There we go. This is that's a weird What in the heck is that? Oh, that's like a is that a shoulder piece? Yes. Oh, okay, good. That's his other arm. And then we'll get this clipped off and then see what kind of weapon fits in there. Such stubby little legs. He does. I know. Here we go. Okay. That looks much better. Okay, now let's put that, what is that? That goes with that weapon, yes. Ta-da, okay, cool. So that's gonna go in that side. Cool, I like that. This is a very expensive model, by the way, if you were to buy it. And also the Queen of Ecstasy, she's not, cheap either so you're gonna be getting a really nice model she's got a million pieces we'll do we'll do the box opening for her okay just found this piece of flash I guess it's flash it's kind of like a bridge of sprue sort of I think of flash as the kind of like the mold lines and stuff let's try not to put Ugh. Just get my fingers out of the way. And then some, yeah, flash. Yeah, exactly, it's not flash. It's major pieces of of resin. Look at this. All right. I do have a small, oop, not that one. This one. I, this is my favorite metal file. It's the one with the kind of a, uh, it's kind of bowed. Usually I don't like metal files on 
on resin because it, it kind of roughs them up a little bit, but it'll work for this. And there's more. Okay. Woo! Savior of the universe. How are you, geeky girl? How was everybody's weekend? Did anybody do anything fun? I know it was, it was Father's Day weekend. And I know um, it was a hard day for me because uh, my dad passed about two years ago. So I, you know, going through Father's Day is not fun. <sighs> but I did get to spend time with Mike and Sophia and, um, you know, enjoyed. Mike is a really awesome dad. And um, it's going to be, it's, it was a good time with them. There we go. All right. Okay, so that's, I don't know where that goes. That's some kind of weird thumb. I'm guessing that goes with this hand of guts. It does. Okay, so let's see. Yes, it does. It goes right there, and it looks like. Oh, that's gonna be cool as hell. Look at that. Yeah, Jan, I, I totally know. Yeah. I guess it sort of gets a little easier, but it just hits you. You went to Origins. Oh, tell us about Origins, geeky girl. I've heard so many good things. I've never actually been to Origins. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, it is an American, um, pretty much mostly board game convention. And it's a big, it's definitely a trade show um, from, what I've, from what I've heard. But they, there is like a miniature um, presence there, I believe. It's not as big as the one at some of the other cons that I've been to, but it's in Ohio. And usually um, my family picks between Gen Con and, and, uh, and Origins, and so Gen Con wins because it's just so much closer. All right, that's another gut, and I think that also goes on that same piece, maybe right here, there we go, boom. Oh, it's gonna be awesome, look at that. Okay, so we're, let me put that other thing here. Ew. All right, so this has to go on first. This is a good thing we're dry fitting because imagine trying to build this and then this one goes here and it's like gross on gross. Uh, he's got, he's holding his own guts is basically what this is. Red Dragon says, I have to order a new Defender model after yours broke on the floor. Oh no, Red Dragon, I don't know what a Defender model is, but is, is there no way to fix it? Geeky Girl got to host your first live board game stream. Oh, that's fun. All right, here's some more. These are like tube worms. These are super nasty gross. I don't know where they go either. So there's no directions on this model. We're just gonna have to find Find it, find the, find the place, it's like a puzzle. It's like a very intricate, grotesque puzzle. There's a mold line, I'm not gonna mess with the mold lines. We pick Origins because we live in Ohio, only a two hour drive. Geeker girl, if you live in Ohio, I don't know where, which, because it's a big state, but if you live anywhere near Hudson, Ohio, I highly recommend that you look up a con called Con on the Cob. It's put together by a friend of mine named Andy Hop, and it's really fun and it's very family oriented. Um, it's, like I said, it's in Hudson, Ohio, and Mike and I used to drive out to it um, almost every year for our anniversary. It's in October usually. All right, we got all of the big chunky pieces done. Now, ooh, oh yeah, that's his little, <laughs> his modesty, modesty uh, tack, as we'll call that modesty tack. The only cons you have here in Fresno are not in game, not gaming, yeah. 
I have a friend who lives in Fresno and it's not, it's not a big game town for sure. There we go. All right, I think, do you think that this is needing pinned? I need, I need, tell me what you think. Modesty Tack, yes. Hey, singing lockpick, it's been a while, how are you? Hey, Diomedes Industries, we are building Creature Casters, um, Lord of Ruin, and he is really, he looks like Mojo. Do you guys remember Mojo at all from Marvel? He was uh, part of the Mojo-verse, and he was kind of crazy. He was one of my favorite Marvel characters, villains. You remember Mojo Glitchrot? <laughs> I love you for even knowing this glitch rot. I am really old school with my nerd. I've been a nerd since 1980, and I've done, um, I, my nerd card is, is, I'm a card carrying nerd, okay? Yeah, Mojo did the dude with the spider legs, yes. This is similar to the Lord, uh, or sorry, the um, Great Unclean one, I think, yeah. So we've just we've just been taking sprues off now. Now we've got to set some of that aside and get all these little boy they little pieces out. Long shot, I know. Long shot and then Dazzler. I loved them. Um, I didn't. I don't. I'll be honest. I didn't really care for Long Shot or Dazzler that much, but I loved Mojo. He made me laugh so hard. And it was funny, one, one of my friends had a Mojo action figure and he put it in like a planter with a plant and it was just, it just cracked me up all the time. Looks not looked, oh yeah, it looks good. This guy reminds you of Balthazar, the corpulent demon from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, okay. Now that is one thing, I didn't really watch Buffy. I know that, that you can take away my, cause here's the thing. During the time Buffy was popular, I was actually role playing in a vampire LARP. And so um, that's again, how nerdy I am. Um, I'm gonna put these back in the bag so I don't lose these little pieces. But anyway, my point was, is that um, I was so immersed in vampire LARPing and One World by Night was the name of the organization. So if you, <laughs> if you are familiar with One World by Night, um, you might have heard of Nikki Scoville. That was my character. She started the Tremere and Venture War. <laughs> that was me. Oh, there we go. That looks amazing. Where's that gonna go? That's like his, that's like a cloth or something. I'm guessing, let's see, where's his? I don't know where this goes. Um, let's put him back together and see. I don't know. Maybe it goes in the back. Oh, it does. Sweet, there it goes, right there. Covers up his region. Yeah, I'll have to go back and watch it. I need to watch it from the get-go. Maybe I'll watch it after I finish Outlander. I've been watching Outlander and I love it. Vampires um, as a genre, I'm not quite, I guess I'm into it because I've been watching, um, what's it? I've been, <laughs> I've been watching some of the most bad TV, like Vampire Diaries, I watched that um, for forever. Why is that such a gap nightmare, man? That'll need some filler for sure right there. He's more, he is more modest than I believed. Yeah, that's a good thing. Nerd, Proto Maker is calling me a nerd when I met him in the Vampire LARP. You're just as nerdy. Actually, you're not as nerdy as me though. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna be, he's, he's a very big model and he's got a lot of pieces. We're not, we're just, we just opened one of the small bags. 
So we've got quite a ways to go with the other bags. We've got one more. This, there's two bags of small pieces, but we're, we're making our way through this one. There we go. Okay. Angel spinoff. I have a feeling I would I should I would like Angel a lot more than Buffy also. There was there very much um did Buffy show up in the Angel spinoff very much? Okay. I did watch some of the originals, Jan. Um I really didn't get, I guess basically what happened was Vampire Diaries ended right about really close to the time that originals started. And I was kind of, I really didn't like how the um, Vampire Diaries ended. It was, and just left a bad taste. So I didn't get into originals too much partially because I was just, I was over that universe. I was over it. The writers and everything pissed me off. <laughs> Hi, Lake Crasher. There we go. We're putting all the little pieces in here as we clip them. And this is driving me nuts, all the schmutz on my table. Here's our subscribers, by the way, our lovely ones that we're covering up. And um, don't forget, the, the giveaway of the Queen of Ecstasy is subscriber only. So remember that if you want to try to win her, you do need to be a subscriber and a follower. All right. Here we go. This is a big, this is flash right here. That, that is 100% flash. This is, this is like, I guess, sort of sprue. It kind of keeps, I don't know how I'm going to get that out of there. <laughs> a sticker I got from ordering from Ben Comments. All my friends are nerds. Oh, I love it. All my friends are nerds, and I love them. Nerds are the best, best, we're the best. There, yeah, there's a lot of pieces, and yes, no assembly guide. There are lots of pictures. If you do exclamation point paint, you'll get a link to the website, and there are tons of pictures and like references, so you can, hopefully see where everything goes. We're gonna, it's gonna be like a puzzle. An, an enigma inside a puzzle. What is that from? <laughs> is that from, I don't even remember what that show was from. There we go. There you go, exclamation point paint. What will I be, what will I be doing at ReaperCon? Uh, Glitra, I'm teaching, and I'm also going to be enjoying myself, which will be really, I mean, I love ReaperCon. I get to see a lot of people there. Let's throw that back in the little bag here. Buffy showed up an angel, but it was really rare. Yeah. They always kept the, uh, have I watched, I've watched Supernatural. It was awful and you loved it. I, so the issue that I had with Supernatural and a lot of those shows that are kind of more episodic is it takes so long for them to get to an overarching story. It's just like each episode is kind of contained and I'm, and I also don't like like investigative kind of story lines. It just doesn't get me. I just, I don't know. I take that back. I guess, so, sh what was the one I, Shadow Hunters. That's the one I've been, I watched most recently and I did enjoy that a lot. The acting is really bad in the very first couple episodes, but it gets better. And then by the end of the season, they're, they're really good again. All right, there's almost, all right, we're not gonna do, I keep telling myself, don't do the mold lines yet. We're just doing the sprue parts. Schmutz is count two and oy vey is count one. Diomedes, <laughs> he's counting my Yiddish kite. 
<laughs> I love it. <laughs> and oy vey is V-E-Y. And it's just O-Y space V-E-Y. Oy vey. Hey, Jacob Jansen. I think we need to play, we need to play the metal song for Jacob Jansen. Jacob Jansen is, is um, Jacob Jansen, Bolos, and um, Trillion pretty much solely funded, crowdfunded the um, Japanese metal song. Raise your hand. Let me see some emotes. If you want to hear the new Japanese metal song that we bought for the stream, we played it earlier, but I want to see if anybody here else wants to hear it who missed it, missed it the first time. Yeah, just like that, Diomedes. Oy vey. Shoshi, are you going to do, vid uh, do a video stream for the Metallics class? Yes, that's my plan. I need to, yeah, I need to get the minis. You, okay, Jacob says thumbs up. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, yes, JS, <laughs> Jen, awesome. So let's see. Let's do this. Go back to my other thing. Did I close it? I think I might have closed it. Hold on. Do, do. We're going to do this. Okay. We're going to play the, the music as soon as I can find it. Here it is. Wait. Here we go. All right. I think this is it. Ready? Nope, that's not it. Cancel, we gotta open it. There it is. All right, ready? I gotta turn the volume up. All right, tell me if that's loud enough. And I'm just gonna, we're just gonna play, we're gonna build through this. It's quiet to begin with. It's got a quiet, quiet beginning. And I really, I really like this song. That's plenty loud enough. <laughs> this is one of the songs that you helped me buy, Jacob. I love it. It's a five minute song. You guys can rock out while we pick off this flash. Not too hard to talk over, I'm pretty happy about that. Oh no, you thought it was Japanese, Japanese classical metal? I don't even know what that means. Yeah, see I like metal and I like this too. You don't know what that means either. Funny. Yeah. Like I said, it's a long song, so we'll be, we'll be working our way through it here. There we go. All right, those go back in the bag. So for those of you guys who have joined us, we're crowdfunding for the stream a library of all kinds of different music for the channel. It's going to be solely owned by me, and that means that you'll have never heard it before. It's going to be, um, we're going to be letting the chat pick out which genres that we're going to be buying. And the chat, this time, they voted on Japanese metal and J-pop. So that's going to be the next six songs that we're going to be hearing for the library. Hi, Ty Love. How are you? Yeah, I like it too. I was pretty, really pretty happy with this. Now we just have to, I really have to hope that nobody else made this song. I put it through Soundhound. It was nobody, it, it didn't, it didn't know about it, so that's a good sign. Ah, 
How's my shelf of shame coming? It's really good. I mean, now we have to do basing. So I think next one, we're gonna make a brand new basing bingo card. Cause that is, that's, everything is painted now and I just don't have anything based. So it's like, man, more work. <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna get so much done. I don't think the ones that voted J-pop didn't realize the songs are instrumental. Yeah, and that is problematic because J-pop, yeah, so that's the thing is everything has to be instrumental because it costs so much to have lyrics and stuff. And also, I don't know any Japanese vocalists. It's just impossible. So the people who voted J-pop are probably going to get something that sounds like anime or um, video game music is what it's going to sound like. But it, it's also going to just sound like pop. So it's just dance or electronica. Yeah, so there you go. That's why you got to be careful what you vote for. <laughs> from now on, I'm going to be giving the chat some categories to choose from. And I'll be discussing with my producers what their specialties are because I don't want to have to work with three million different producers, because uh, it's really hard. You want to make sure you can trust people, you know. Luckily, the producer that I have in London, Custom Anthems, they're in my, you can go down on my profile and look up um, the anthem, Custom Anthems. They, they said they know how to do J-pop, so we'll see what they choose. Also, this particular song is by um, Music Magnet. Or mang Mangate? Magnet. I think it's Magnet. Anyway, that was the song. What do you guys think? I think that's, yep, that's it. Okay, now we can go back to our other audio. There we go, we can turn that down. There we go, better. Dig it, I dig it too. I'm pretty happy. Um, I think I paid $60 for that song. So uh, that feels like a pretty good deal for a five minute song. Most of our songs are gonna be about three to four minutes long. I would say. The range that different people charge is really wide. Some people like custom anthems is about $50 a song. But some people are like, I want $100 per song, and it's like, I got a budget, you know? <laughs> okay, here we go. This is some kind of chain. There we go. But the nice thing is that we should have all of those six, as soon as we get all of those six songs produced, they'll go into the library and then we'll, we'll do another donation goal and we'll start all over and I'll choose some, um, guys, you want to give me some ideas for genres that you're interested in? I'll write them down and then I'll pick from those what you're interested in. One of the, I'm interested in, um, dance. I'm also interested in, uh, you know what, I, I I know this sounds stupid, but I really like, like, oh, I don't know what it's called. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. You need something with energy? Yes and no, because um, energy makes me paint faster. And so you, you guys really don't want me painting faster. Um, so I picked some EDM chill songs. I already got six of those ready to go. Um, I need to download those, by the way, and have you guys listen to those. Those are those are really nice. Those are by Custom Anthems. You just mean not slow songs, yeah. For me, it just needs to be a song that I can talk over and that doesn't make me paint way too fast. So I have another producer that is actually local to me. He's a kid, he's in college, he's actually friends with my daughter's boyfriend. 
and he makes he made some really good songs that they're kind of like retro 80s hip hop EDM. It's I can't explain it, but it's really good and I really like those. So I'm probably going to be buying. He's only charging me $30 per song. So we'll probably be able to get like 12 of those. That would be awesome. Game soundtrack remakes. No remakes. It can't be a remake, Cage Mage. It's got to be completely 100% brand new music. That way I can own pure rights to everything. No covers, no remakes. You know? Yeah. The, the most important thing to having the library is that I have full rights. And that um, when I post something to YouTube or to Twitch or whatever, I'm not going to get flagged or anything. That's a very important thing to me. Synthwave. That's a... Okay, let me write that down. Or lo-fi hip-hop. Actually, lo-fi hip-hop is a w good way to explain that a uh, buddy of my um, daughter's boyfriend, he, I would say he does. And I really like the lo-fi hip-hop a lot. Electro swing. Yeah, Jan. Okay. Swing, did I spell that right? And then what was the other one? It was chip tune. I've never heard of that. What is that? I'm gonna put a question mark by that because I've never heard of that. Jazz. Um what are some other ideas you got? Synth wave, that was it. Synth wave. So my idea is also, once we get the big enough big band, oh, I love big band style. Chewy, that is, that is near and dear to my heart. Let's see, what do you say, big band. I would love it. Um, my, um, I'm trying to think what my favorite music styles are. I really do like, um, I do like jazz a lot. I like big band style a lot. Um, I like metal a lot. There's lots of different versions of metal we could get as well. So I was thinking once we get a big enough library together, we could have like, kind of like how Flick has Metal Mondays, right? We can just play an album of metal. A beat jazz? Yeah, exactly. There we go. That is beautiful. I love that. It's almost like a ponytail of horns. Whoop. I like that one. That goes in this baggie. Did I already get that one off? Yes, mostly. Okay. This is the last piece of all the pieces, and then we're going to do mold lines. So that, oh no. That's not good. Well, we just made things harder for herself by not paying attention to the letters. But I guess we're just gonna, you know, it is what it is. Metal and rock, oh yeah, for sure. It shows you music to paint too, exactly. Somebody actually, cause I'm gonna have absolutely full rights. Somebody suggested that I put out a CD after that. And I said, nope, I really do want this exclusive to my channel only. It will be really special, you know? If I put out a CD, what somebody's gonna do is they're gonna play it on a Twitch channel or on a YouTube channel. And then we ruin our exclusivity. Beach music. What is beach music? Like kind of like Beach Boys? And I do like rock. I like hard rock myself. Hard rock, new metal. Those are, I really, really like those sounds. Jack Johnson. I don't know who that is, but it sounds good. All right, we're ready for the difficult part, which is the mold lines. Because they're, they're deep. And we have to look for the, where they start, too. 
Okay, gonna take glasses off for a minute so I can actually see what I'm doing. And if you wanna get my attention, do at Shoshi's Minis. When you're doing any kind of modeling, it really pays to look here. See, there's a mold line. Now, once we find the mold line, we can follow it over to the other side. You know what I'm going to try to do? I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try to break this a little bit to make a chisel. Let me see if this is going to work. This might be a bad idea. There. Okay, now may I, I've got some kind of chisel piece. Get that back out. There we go. Sometimes, I don't know if this is going to work, but at least maybe I can get into some of these mold lines. See, now I can. It's so much better. <sighs> because if, if this had a point on, it would be gouging into the other part of the, the model. Yeah, that's much easier to work with. Oh, and that needs to be tightened. Okay. Okay, glasses back on. Whenever I see my name highlighted on the screen, I'll try to put my glasses back on. Sounds special. <laughs> I sent you a song on this Discord? Okay. Oh, of his on Discord. Okay, I'll check it out. You were, you were cringing while I broke the blade. Don't worry, I, I took I did it. I did it nice. <laughs> okay, um, I need to make a alert or some kind of timer. Let me see. Where's my phone? We're gonna do a giveaway. It's almost four o'clock. We're gonna do a giveaway in one hour of the Creature Caster um, Queen of Ecstasy, and let's do. In a half hour, we'll do an unboxing of her. How's that? Sounds good. Okay. So let's do, well, let's do an hour. It's, what time is it right now? It's five till. So we'll do a 35 minutes, we'll do an unboxing of her. And then an hour, when we're done with the, when we're done with the unboxing, we'll give her away on the channel. I think that'll be cool. All right, so I'm gonna start my timer. Okay. I didn't know assembling requires this much work. Chow mein for you. Yeah, some models do. If you, so it just, not all models are, are this intense. But creature, creature caster models are kind of like, um, they do have a lot of like mold lines and assembly and stuff because they're made with resin, they're hand cast. And um, that usually in, requires a little bit more work than the average Plastic model, plastic models, especially GW models, I would say they, they're a lot less work. But every model's gonna have some. Hey, right, I'm looking again for the mold line that I lost. See, there it is, right here. I like this kind of flat blade chisel thing that I made. See, and then if I need to get into the little crevices with my pointy one, I can. There. If you're gonna do a piece for a competition, you wanna do this. Really, like, get out all of the little mold lines. Get them all out. Okay. All right, now where's my files? Sometimes it's just easier to get a file over it. Yeah, that, that piece right there, it's easier to file. And you just wanna scrape off all of the little pieces.
pieces of flash and extra resin that don't go on that. I gotta jag that up and that's, that's gonna need a file. Somewhat. Ah! Now they make these other kinds of files and I'll have to dig mine out because I don't know where they are at the moment. Let me see. They're called diamond files and they're little bitty. And they're sometimes a lot better to use on stuff like this. Because you can get into these little crevices so much easier. Okay, I'm gonna check chat in one second. Okay, looks like a chat, excuse my name. <laughs> Spear says, I managed to just resist buying the King of Ruin at Salute. You aren't helping me keep to that. <laughs> I know, he's, he's pretty neat, isn't he? You saw him uh, assembled at Salute? And was he painted as well? We're planning on, um, on painting him. Let me ask you guys if you would be interested in, well, I don't know if I wanna tackle him as a paint along. I just realized he might be too difficult. He's just gonna take forever. I thought about what if we did him as a paint along, but he's ex he's kind of expensive. I think we'll keep paint alongs a little bit more affordable for people, so more people can can join in on those when we do them. All right, I have looked and I think I got most of the more. It looks like on the horns, you just need to go on each one of the horns and. Just double check to make sure there's no mole lines. <sighs> now there is a piece of thin. You can tell the, the resin is a little bit thin right there, but I'm gonna leave it. All right, that's done. Next piece. I'm going biggest, biggest pieces first here. There we go. <laughs> kind of around these edges, it looks like there needs to be a little bit of filing. It kind of sits down in there, so I don't think I'll need too much. All right. There, there's a big mold line right across him. So the most important mold line to get off is the one that's on his skin. If you have a mold line in his armor, you can always kind of like fake that and make it look like a scratch. But if it's on his skin as well, it's gonna look like a mold line. Oh. I forgot to mention that GW makes a scraper tool. Let me see if I ha where's mine? I have a scraper tool and it's awesome. I don't know where I put it. But the scraper tool is extra awesome. Um, is this it? No, that's the saw. Why can't I ever find something when I need it? Let me look in this cup. Nope. Hmm, I do have this. That's more of a sculpting tool though. Oh, there's a kind of a unusual file. I could keep that out just in case I need it. Okay, that's not what I was looking for. Let's look in this one. Those flexible sanding sticks, yeah, I've got several of those. This is pretty, this one is nice too. This is by FlexiFile. I've got a lot of these, so they come in handy a lot. I do have this, but I have not been finding a lot of luck on resin with this. This is a um, fiberglass um, 
what's it called? It's called some kind of uh, fiberglass brush, scratch brush, that's what it's called. And uh, I like it, but it works better for plastic than it does resin. Now, I don't see my scraper tool anywhere. That's okay. We can use other things. Yep, scratch pen, exactly. I think the next time, the next paint along should be either something from Judgment or maybe a Chimera model. Ooh, that's a good idea. I don't think we'll have enough time to put together a Chimera order, um, but Judgment is a is a possibility. We might be able to get that, that pretty good. See all these little pieces right here. I think I'm gonna, let me see. I like this because it is bent. It kind of does allow you to get at areas that might be harder to get with a flat, with a flat file. There we go. See that? I like that. I can't remember where I got these. I think it was a model train, model train store. You ran out of judgment models, Jan, but you managed to order one for next weekend. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't have any judgment models either, but I'm hoping, yeah, I need to get some more. Cause aren't we gonna, we're gonna do another judgment stream together or with the triptych people? I think we talked about it. We should try to do that before Gen Con. At Gen Con, I'm gonna be streaming, or not streaming, I'm, well, I might be streaming. It depends on how the internet goes in Gen Con. Usually everybody and their mom is on the internet, so it's impossible. Um, but what I was gonna say was Oh, I just noticed that skull there. That's pretty cool. Um, I'll be at the Gen. I'll be at the Gen Judgment booth at Gen Con. Um, painting in the booth, so you'll be able to. If you go to Gen Con, you'll be able to meet me there and um, see me paint live. I'm hoping I'm gonna break the tip of this blade. I don't wanna do that. There we go. I much prefer to scrape than to cut. Sometimes you gotta cut it anyway. All right, I'm gonna check chat. How much time do we got? We got, maybe put your glasses on for safety. That's a good idea. It's four o'clock, so we've got about half an hour still. Do you know you can adjust how hard or soft the glass fiber pens are? Extend the fibers for soft. Yeah, but it just doesn't work that well for me, Amber. Let's try it. Let's give it a go again. We'll do it. Also, I think they make different kinds of fiberglass pens as well. All right, so let's do kind of soft. This part right here. It's sort of working. 
All right, I guess that's sort of working. All right, all right, all right, Amberton. Let's try making it a little bit harder then and see what happens. We'll retract. See if that makes a bigger difference. I think I like it softer, it actually. I think it takes off more with the soft end. Hmm. All right, I see fiberglass all over it. Let's see if I can take that off. Yeah. I think they just, I just, for my own, there's just too much risk with them, with the fiberglass getting on me, even with gloves. I think I prefer the, the dangers of the blade. Okay. It seemed to work pretty well though. I don't, I don't think it's, I don't think it doesn't work. I think it works. I just don't think I like work, working with it. That's all. All right, that guy, that piece is done. So wish you were going to Gen Con. Maybe put your glasses on for safety, yes. Alexander, i.e. Rambo Elf with explosive arrows. Rambelf. <laughs> all right, now this bit here. So when I am, when I'm cleaning a model, I'll just take my blade where I know there might be a mold line and I'll just run it over the whole model just in case. Because sometimes, even if there doesn't look like there's a mold line, there is one there. Or maybe it's on one side and not another. There's some mild mold lines here, right here. Okay. I'm looking on the inside. You can also do the same thing with the file. Sometimes actually it's a little quicker with a little bit of a file, just kind of go around the edge like that. go okay see there is a piece of let's use this one it's a piece of flash in there by his thumb these are pieces that you wouldn't really think about oh just got in my hair um, you wouldn't think about if you're just building for yourself but if you're doing for a competition this is something a judge would find this and penalize you for so when I'm doing my builds I just try, I just kind of always just, it's practice. I basically treat it like I'm practicing to get myself better for competition so that when I am, so I'm not cutting corners, not trying to, like I'm a lazy, I'm a lazy builder. And I usually hate having to dig this stuff out and find all these things. Got a little hangnail right there. All right, checking chat again. All right, Chewy, thanks so much. Yeah, we're gonna be, Chewy just said we're gonna have a good, we're gonna have a giveaway. It's gonna be at five o'clock. Or sorry, yeah, 4.30 we're gonna do an unboxing of the giveaway uh, for subscribers. And you need to be present to win because it's so hard to track people down Pretty good. I think I'm gonna have to say that looks pretty good. Oh, 
See, a little bitty mold line right there. Oh, Ty. Ty loves six. Thank you so much. You just subscribed and it says two months. Can't wait till nine months and then we have a Twitch baby. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of some more schmutz. All right, I'm gonna put Ty Love Six on here. Oh, six, there we go. And, all right, remember that mold line I just found? I think it was right here. I'm gonna just file it instead of worrying about trying to cut it. <sighs> okay, that looks good. That's a weapon. Hopefully these don't have, see, everything has mold lines, everything. I do have some Milliput and some other stuff to possibly fill some of this in. You might not be able to get it all off. See that? There's the mold line follows right around there. Now I noticed that um, when I got Naoti from Chimera, they had cleaned off quite a bit of her mole lines and they had done a really good job at, they also glued part of her together though, that was to kind of help combat recastings. So it's harder to duplicate something that's been glued together. Oh yuck, he's got little tiny worms between his toes. That is nasty. And I just found mold lines between his toes as well. We're just gonna try to get those out. Diomedes says, Schmutz count is now four. Really? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, should we take a stretch break? Let's take a little stretch break. Remember we to get up? Exclamation point stretch. Uh. This is where my back feels so much better from a stretch break. Mm. Especially hunching over. Yes, thank you for posting that tie. I'm also gonna take a little drink of water. Stand up, get up from your chairs. Stretch time. Much better. All right, let's let's build. Did you guys see the mold lines in between his toes? Can you see those right there? So because it's between his toes, we could pretty much hide those, but I'm going to get rid of as many as much of that as I can with the file. Okay. There's the second foot. Oh my goodness. So this one again, it goes around here through the toes and then back up here. That's a long, that's a long mold line. You know, and if you are, you know, person, if you're just making this for yourself, you definitely don't have to do this. This is just me. I'm doing this for myself because I will see a mole line and I'll, somebody else will see a mole line and will complain. Like on my Dragon King, I got a lot of flack for his mold lines. People were like, amazing paint job, but that, those mold lines are just killing me. And I, I was like, you know, <laughs> he's done. That was the whole point is like, sometimes finished is better than perfect, so. 
If mold lines is something you hate removing, don't don't remove them. Just paint paint them. You know, gold leaf them. Whatever you want to do. I see a big. Well, that's another one of those crazy worms between his toes. Gross. Well, he's got ropes between his toes too. That's interesting. I don't quite understand the ropes, but that's all right. Yay, you got home in time, Trillion. We are gonna have a, um, a giveaway, and we're gonna do that at five o'clock, which is in about an hour. A little bit less than an hour. In about 15 minutes or less, we're gonna be doing a box opening of the mini that we're going to give away. And you'll get to see what exactly she looks like, how many, she looks pretty awesome. She has a lot of parts, I will tell you that. She has a lot of parts. See, there's a good mole line right there. Just scrape it. Get that flash. See, at, the, at some point, and I think that point is now, I get to the point where I'm like, screw it. Just, you know, just file it or just don't worry about it. Sometimes I, I get lazy about my mold lines. There we go. Try to get through these faster and faster and see how if the integrity holds up. That looks pretty good already. I don't think that really needed anything. That's good. The more of those we can throw in the pile of done, the better. He's into bondage. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe that's how he keeps all his flesh from falling apart. I think it might be the latter. He's kind of a bag of mess, isn't he? Oh, this is a good one. This is the one that's hard to reach. And it's got some kind of cat hair stuck to it even. Okay. I will tell you, it's a good thing Creature Caster has their own, their own contest for, for um, painting because then you can just expect everybody to have a little bit of mold line, can't you? much better. A little piece of flash right there. This is like ASMR only for visual, right? It's like like those um, kind of OCD videos that you can watch where you can watch somebody pick at something. It's kind of satisfying maybe in a way. I don't know. It is very satisfying to clean models. It does kind of scratch that itch. All right, I'm just looking on this side for the mole lines because I see a little one right there. Mostly, that one's it. That's it. All right, good. ASMR. <laughs> yes, it is. It is satisfying, isn't it? Isn't that funny? So we're going to need to see a lot more skin, JK. <laughs> That's funny. He is big. He's a big model. He's probably about, about yay big, about nine, ten inches, I think. We might be able to assemble some of this. Um, do you think we should? Let's 
let's give this a little super glue and see what happens. Maybe it will fit. Maybe it'll, let me find my super glue. Here it is. Uh, I like to use Loctite Professional Glue. This stuff is really good. So here we go. Put it in all of the little grooves. Luckily, there's already a nice good surface, so you'll have stuff to grab onto. We can score it some. Let's do it with this one. That will help even more. You want to do a little crisscross. That will help. Okay. Yeah. There we go. All right. I don't. I don't know if it's gonna glue or not. <laughs> I don't know about ASMR. Watching your nails makes me crave cupcakes. Oh, I know they're so cute, aren't they? I need to get them done again because whenever you see that much cuticle. That means it's time to get them done again. And they, it's kind of frustrating because it's like every two weeks, sometimes less, because my nails have been growing fast. I've never tried the professional Loctite. Sure, they ha do have lots. Yeah, they do. I think I have a link to this in below um, under my show she recommends. All right, so that that's holding pretty good already. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty happy about that. All right, we're not going to do the head because obviously we want that to um, be able to be, we can do this part though, I think. Yeah, now there's a good gap and I'll show you how we're going to fill that in a minute too. Let's put the glue up in there. And all the little ridges. even got little ridges on the side too. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna hold that in. Crisscross will make you jump jump. Oh my gosh. This, oh yeah, we haven't got the Bondic out yet. We will be using Bondic, hopefully. Where is it? There it is. There's our Bondic. Bondic is life. I also have a couple things. I've got Fix It, 50-50 parts. This is, we have part A and part B. And this stuff is like plumber's, plumber's material. I got different colors. I've got gray, I've got white, and I've got black. And this is the gray. But you gotta wear gloves with this stuff. So I think since I don't have, I'm gonna use Bondic for my smaller gaps. And I'll try using this Fix It. Let's try it. We're going to put some gloves on and see. I was just about to ask how you fill in the gap. Yeah, we're just, we're going to, we've got different things. I've got Milliput of Gunk Green stuff and I have the Fix It. We're going to try the Fix It first. It works pretty well. It doesn't shrink, I don't think. And it is sandable. So, but you've got to wear gloves with this. Gloves says the nice man from the TSA. <laughs> All right, there we go. We need, I think we need equal parts. All right. I'm going to shut that. Doesn't really want to shut. There we go. All right. And then another piece of gray. So usually with these two part things, you have to knead them together until they are really well blended. That's the stuff you use, Trillian. Oh, good. How do you like it? Is there anything you can tell us about it so that Milliput is your go-to for larger gaps? Yeah, I got the super fine the white. All right, that is pretty. I like this. It's not sticky and it feels like a clay, kind of a little bit like a clay. All right, we're gonna stick some of this. We're gonna make a little tube of it. 
You can add a tiny bit of water and it will still set up. Oh, good. And I do have, where's my little sculpting tool that I got somewhere? Here, I got this and I've got this. These are little sculpting tools. This is a color shaper and this is a flat chisel. Royal Sovereign LTD UK. That's who makes them. Okay. So we'll just take a little smidge of this. Where did that ball go? Here we go. And I'm hoping. Okay, the glass is gonna, are coming off. Where did my chisel one go? There it is. I'm just gonna smoosh it down in. As best as I can. And you can put a little Vaseline on these tools to kind of, see that's actually pretty cool. Need more though, hmm. Let's make another little snake. And drop it on my leg. There we go. All right, I'm gonna start it on here. Come on, stay off my finger. I need a paper towel. I like it because it doesn't, it's not so sticky. Like green stuff can get really sticky. And this is, this is pretty good. Like I said, this is this is some kind of plumber's stuff that works really good. I don't remember where I got it. Where did I get it? I got it from a website. Maybe Amazon. I bet I got it from Amazon. So, and then I can get this tool and you know, mold it in with the See how the Yeah, that's working good. There's little um, divots in the cloth and I'm kind of following that with the material. Woo! All right. It is time to do our unboxing. So I'm gonna finish this up real quick and then we'll do our unboxing of the queen and then we'll give her away and maybe work on this a little bit more after that. This is another thing where craftsmanship is, is really key because again, if you're doing a judging or anything like that, this is gonna show up. So it's just gonna blend in there really well. Let me get the chisel one more time and I'm gonna poke this up under the armor a little bit. There we go. That's good. That looks good. There is no gap that isn't a little bit intentional. There we go. How's that look? Ta da! No gap. All right. Yay! And we got a new follower. Huge. <laughs> Thanks so much. I like that. Barking Stu Daryl Studio. Hello. So should we should we ban that name? That name might not be okay for Twitch. I'm not gonna say it online. Tiny bit of water. Oh yeah, the water. Okay, so let's set let's set this guy aside. All right. Here is. The, not the Lady of Corruption, Lamunas. This is the Lady of Queen of Ecstasy. Let me see what you picked. I think it might be different. The Lady of Corruption might not be the same one. Yep, no, you're right. That's it. Queen of Ecstasy, that's her. Good job. 
All right, so we're, yeah, so the one that Lamunis just, the one that he just um, showed off is what we're giving away right now. This is her. I'm gonna put all this stuff over here so you guys can take a look. So I gotta, we gotta put some tack on. Aw, thank you for the cheer, Terillion. Mad love. We're gonna put some blue tack on her. Not safe for Twitch bits. She has a she has two not safe for Twitch bits. Glitchrod, thank you for the subscription. So here you can see how large she is. This is compared to Naoti. Naoti is 75 mils, so you can see just how huge. Slag bomb, thank you for the subscription. Three months. Yee. Okay, so you can see there's so such a big difference in, in size. She's really big as well. Thank you again. Oh my gosh, thank you. We got more pride emotes. Yay, that's awesome. Did I get any? Let me see if I got any. I love these pride emotes so much. And uh, oh yes. Oh good. And uh, so, and um, Trillion just unlocked some for some of the people in the channel. I think I didn't get any that I don't already have. Okay, that's fine. All right, so there's, ooh, that's her booty. She's got a very round booty, very round booty. She's got this crazy spine. Look at the spine. She's just gorgeous. She's got little jewelry. All right, hopefully there won't be. I don't think there's any other bits. Yeah, so round, right? She's been on Stairmaster. All right, these are some smaller bits that she comes with her. This is one of the weapons that you can give to her. Again, they always have weapons with teeth all over them. Yes, oh, you got the fish wings, I'm so jelly. Look at that. She's got crazy claws. I love the face. So much detail on these models. There's a beautiful face right there. There's a, some piece of claw. Some horns. She has lots of pointy bits. I do believe she they, that most of the models have multiple faces and multiple weapons to choose from. And so I think what that means is that um, you can magnetize if you want. Yes. If I don't know if you're going to need points for this. Oh, there's that looks like the hilt of one of the swords. And I'm guessing this is a necklace? Oh, it's like it's like a cape thing. Sato Apotecario. Thank you for that subscription. Let's write down. Yes, oh my gosh, Trillion just gifted five people in the channel. Sato Apotecario, the Mad Clover Minis, Mr. Swarm, Singing Lockpook, Pick, Rebel Star Raider. Now, I wanna make sure you guys know this. If you win this and you live outside the United States, you're agreeing that you will help pay for shipping if you enter. So don't enter unless you're agreeing that you're gonna pay for shipping, okay? Oh, this is awesome. Trillian, you are so awesome. Let's write down these new people. Hold on a second here. We got a bunch of people we gotta write down. So let's see. First, we've got Glitch Rot. We've got Slag Bomb. Now we've got the five people that Terillion just gifted, which that's so awesome and so generous of you, Terillion. Sato Apotecario. Did I say that right? Apotecario. I guess that means like apothecary. Then we've got the Mad Clover Minis. We've got Mr. Swarm. We've got Singing Lock, Singing Lock Pick. 
All of you guys are now all entered, are gonna be eligible to enter the, the drawing, which we're gonna have in about 20 minutes or so. And Rebel Star Raider. You also all have the uh, um, opportunity now to use all my emotes in other people's channels and this one. Rebel Star Raider, I'm gonna have to squeeze your name in here. There we go. She has a super cool face plate that you can use as an alternative, yes. The chain is her booby chain. Oh, let's take a look. I need to see that. I think you're right. Does she have a booby chain? Yes, she does. She has the Tata covers. There. That's so funny. Thank you so much for that. Oh, Trillian. Mad love. Thank you so much for that. You're amazing. She's so generous. Slag bomb, that's amazing. Covers her naughty parts. Pasty chain. <laughs> I think this was one that, yes, Fli I think Flickster did paint her. I think he brought her to, to Adepticon as well. All right, so we've got more pieces and parts. Let's get out. She's got many bags of whips and chains and things. Look at, these are her feet. This is the back of her feet. These are like little faces, and I believe that these are some kind of heels or something. She's kind of got like a, like a goat foot almost. But she is a demoness, so that makes sense. Let's see, see how that looks. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Yeah, she, this is my hand, and that's just her torso and legs. So she is a beautiful display piece. All right, let me see who else here. Need more Japanese metal. I know we do. <laughs> All right, hold on. We've got more pieces to get out. There's a, this gal's got a lot of pieces, I'm telling you. There's more in there, isn't there? Yes, there's one more. Okay. I don't want to lose anything. I'm going to put stuff back as we look at them. So that way we don't lose anything. All right. Let's look at, what is this? She's got multiple arms, doesn't she? I bet these are like elbows or something. I know. So you're going to love putting this together because if you think that the big guy is a, is, a, is a puzzle, this one is too. These are like crab claws. She's got a whole bunch of arms with a whole bunch of crab claws kind of things. And I think if you, if you had like a crustacean-themed... Um, that would look really cool, actually. Those are gorgeous. Look at this one has a tongue out. Ah, that's awesome. Um, so these, I guess, are plates, that, the armor plates. I'm guessing knee and shoulder. Wow, that's fun for a long while. It is, definitely. So these are, again, pieces that come out of her spine and whips and things that come out of her. Crazy. I'm not going to get all that out. Let's see. This one is the same thing. Looks like there's little blades. All kinds of blades. Oh my gosh. Look at these are different. So some of these look like spines and some of these look like metal. Scary metal mantis lady. Exactly. She will cut you. She will cut you. So this is an arm. There's some more arms, I believe. Okay, that, that arm goes over here. I think. I think that goes on there. All right, I'm just putting things back. Look, this is the base. Oh, wow. The base is a cut up people. It's very Kingdom Death, isn't it? So there's a couple. And you can't tell if they're people or if they're statues. I think they're supposed to be broken statues. That's that's what it looks like cuz look at this one's nose is broken off. Yeah. It's definitely like a uh, like a like a statue got knocked over. And there's some cool you could do some cool glow in the dark like glyphs in there. 
And then there's the Creature Caster logo. And now for her face. So these are the beautiful faces. And this one seems more like, almost like a Borg type of face. And this one seems more like um, like an insect woman alien face. This one has, oh gosh, look at the top. This one has more jewelry. That's so cool, like all the little faces with the tongues hanging out. Yes, Let's, left is sci-fi, right is fantasy. Oh, that's so cool, yeah. Good point. And let's look in the back. Oh, again, the spines and the horns. And then she's, it looks like some of the more, like, I don't know, I think something comes out of those, like, little whips and things, probably. Oh, I know. Look, this is a Kingdom Death mini. She is a huge model. That's a Kingdom Death mo model. Look at the size of the faces. Here is an Eldar to, for scale. That's, that's an Eldar model for scale. She's a giant. She's a goddess. She's a, she's a queen of ecstasy. That's why she's $109. Right. So you guys are going to, if you, if you are a subscriber, then you get to, um, you get to try to win this. All right, I'm going to put her back in here. All the pieces are back in. Good, good, good. There we go. All right. She is ready. Let's get the bot ready. And we're going to do an entry. Let's see. Here's the bot. All right. Go to giveaways. I'm hoping this is going to work. Okay, we're going to do subscribers only. Hold on, let me change that. This is subscribers only. Hmm. You know what? I might have to do... Let me try it in the Streamlabs. I don't know if it's going to work as well. Streamlabs has their own bot, and I might be able to do the giveaway in that. Usually would. Thank you for that. There we go. Okay. Yep, we do have. Here we have giveaways. We're going to Queen of the Broken Clothes. That's not the one I want. Uh, let's see here. Okay, custom. We're going to do this one. This is a sponsored giveaway from Creature Caster. All right, let's see if I can edit it. We're going to do this for 30 minutes. I'm going to start the giveaway. Did it start? Hold on. Ed, yeah, this is our monthly subscriber giveaway. If you live outside the U.S., you must pay for shipping. The raffle has started for subscribers. Use exclamation point raffle to enter the raffle. You guys see that? Exclamation point raffle. You don't need to use tickets. Okay, so you get a ticket, you just have to put exclamation point raffle. Woo! All right, good luck to you subscribers. Good, I'm seeing the, I'm seeing it populate. It looks like it's working. Yep. Okay, good. Seeing everybody who's able to enter. All you guys, all you new people, you can enter this exclamation point raffle. You'll get a ticket to, the, to, to, to win, or to win, to enter. Remember, don't enter. If you don't want to help pay for shipping, if you live outside the U.S., there we go. That's a fun one. All right, while that goes on, so that's going to go on for another 28 minutes. We're going to go ahead and start um, finishing off this big, big boy. Look at that. That that gap is gone. Let me see if that is still hardening or not. I lost that little ball of clay that I had. That's all right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Smooth, smooth, smooth. I'm just going to work on that a little bit. Remember, if you have any questions or if you need to get my attention, do add Shoshi's Minis, especially during the raffle because I'll really miss it. There's I see a question right now. You feel it's fair if we all pay for shipping on a model like her? All right, shall we? Let's see some. Um, 
let's see some votes on that. What do you guys think? You think, so she's, she is a big model, but I think I can get her to go priority for $13. It'll be, yeah, it is a lot. All right, so that's, that's it. You're gonna pay for shipping on it, especially if she's such a very high quality, high price model. We're gonna, we're gonna all chip in and pay for shipping, whoever wins that, okay? That sounds good. Technically, Trillian may have already paid for the shipping with her donation, but it sounds like she wants that to go to music, so we're gonna hold off and put that toward music for the next, next goal. All right, I'm looking for more mold lines. There's a big gap right there. I'm gonna need more of this stuff. I don't know what happened to the other ball of stuff that I had. Okay. Let's make a larger amount of it this time. There we go. Shipping way too expensive to South Africa. Basically another 109. <gasps> that's so, that's so much. Oh, Miss Half Damage, thank you so much. That will, that will definitely cover anything in the US. And that'll, it'll cover, yeah, that'll absolutely cover anything in the US. So I'll add, who, whoever wins it, I'll add it to their total. How's that? Miss Half Damage, you're amazing. Whatever helps you the most. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see where we need to ship it to. <laughs> we need to mix this really well so that it cures. So this is such a such a generous stream. I mean, such a generous group of chatters. You guys are the best. Ooh. Okay. You won the same mini on flicks? Oh, wow. Did you did you put it together yet? All right, I'm gonna get in there into that gap with this stuff. Let's see if I can, we need to make a little, make a little snake with it. And then I'm gonna push it in. Glasses are off, so make sure you do add Shosha's minis if you wanna get my attention. I like this a little better than Bondic for the only reason that it's, I mean, just for this particular type of gap filling, because it doesn't stick to anything, it's not gooey. Um, I don't think it shrinks from what I remember. Okay, I say my name again. You haven't, it's in the queue. Oh, okay. Is he painting it also, Miss Half Damage, or is he just sending it? What's the stuff? Ty, I'm using Fix It. This is part A, and this is part B. I believe I got it on Amazon. And it's a two part, um, like epoxy material that um, I guess it is like for plumbing and things like that, but it works great for models. All right, where did that gap? See that I hit, I, I got rid of that gap so quick, I couldn't even find it again. That's good, that's a good sign. And I'm just using a shaper tool for, um, it's like for sculpting to, to mush it into the place. There we go. Where's my other tool? I had two tools and one has disappeared. There it is. Great stream. Thank you so much. You're going to have a snooze. Long day. All right. Thanks, Jan. You have a good one. Everybody give Jan a follow. Genuine Vision. Give me a shout out for him as well. I'm sorry I forgot to do that earlier. Got really busy. Um, he is one of the Triptych brothers that I am associated with for, um, you know, streaming, col collabing, and community. We kind of all got together and he is a great one. 
All right, so there we go. That is much, much better. Yay, Yay I got a new follower. The Pigeon Queen, that's not a good name. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not gonna read that out loud. Love yous, take care. All right, good night. Cinnamon Vaughn Acid Bath. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the class. And just so you guys know, we're giving away the Queen of Ecstasy, not this guy. Just making sure. <laughs> All right, this is another little gap here. Some of this is gonna get filled in by a little primer, but where's the chisel? Smush, smush, smush. Take that away. There we go. I figured since I, you know, was so lazy about the uh, the dragon and his mold lines that I'd be extra extra attentive this time. Aw, there's there's the acid bath. Cinnamon, thank you so much for following. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of mold line down there and junk I just need to cover. So we're partially gonna use this to cover the gap, but also to blend into his skin because it's got bubbles and stuff down there. That's much better. There we go. Much better, and I like the fact that it's gray also. That is a beauty. Oh wow, look at that gap right there. Another, gotta make another little snake. I'm gonna go back to my giveaway so I can keep track of my time. Let's see. Twenty minutes left on our giveaway. Is that is that pigeon? Why did you change your name? Ah. Uh, <laughs> is this a second account? Is this like your secret account? All right. So I made a little snake. There we go. There, that looks better. See? That looks a million times better with that. Now I need this one. Somebody said I could use a little water. I think I've got a little water here. Let me see if I have a Dixie cup. What I'm gonna do is just wet the end of that and then see if I can make that. Yes, that smooths it super quick when I do that. Nice thing about this guy is that he is so grotesque that even if you don't have things super duper 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 smooth, you can just make it look like it's all part of him. See that? Where's my, I've got more material. Oh, it's stuck to this thing. Here we go. He changed his name. <laughs> Gross, change it back, Grody. Ah. Did you change it or did it get reported, uh, Pigeon? I'm just gonna call you Pigeon.
Okay. There we go. More water. There's the water. There we go. That works really well. That Just that little bit of water helps me really smooth that in. It's like nearly perfect. Okay, well how much time do we have got left? We've got 17 minutes now. Now you look at it and go, what gap? There was never a gap, exactly. In two months you can, you, you probably forget. <laughs> People will be used to the new name by the time you have to change it. That's looking good. Where I had a huge thing of material and now it's it keeps do I is it on the it might be on my arms. Just check real quick here. Now I'm gonna use water on this side over here. Let's make that extra smooth. That looks much better. Feel good about this. All right. Pigeon, I actually watched a little bit of your stream. Unfortunately, it's so naughty with your language that I can't actually host you, but it wasn't very fun to watch. <laughs> have to keep things family friendly with my hosts because I'm partnered. They actually will like get us in trouble. Okay. Looking, looking. All right. I think most of the big gaps are gone. Raz spent too much money on the KDM store and he has to change his name. <laughs> It's kind of lame because you prefer a raucous stream. I know, so yeah, because Twitch, um, I know, I love watching Australian stream for that exact same reason. Um, they they did this when, I don't remember when they did this, this was about the same time that YouTube was going through all kinds of issues with demonetizing people for a little bit being, you know, adult. Um, people, you know, Twitch is, Twitch is about money. Twitch is owned by Amazon, you know? And the money, if you follow the money, it's about advertisers. So that is the reason. We don't have much control over that, but I mean, more and more these days, uh, the internet is gonna be controlled by the corporations. We're already seeing that happen in the US with the, uh, you know, net neutrality. That's a whole topic that we don't need to get into, but it is, it's gonna affect us for sure. Again, that's another reason why I really want to own my own music is because these corporations are controlling things and I want as much ownership of my own stuff as I can while I can have it, right? There we go. Smooth, 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 smooth. You, those of you who have been on Discord, you guys know I swear. I swear, but I don't do it on on the, my Twitch channel, because I'm partnered. Seize of the means of production, seize the internet, I know. <laughs> yeah, it is lame, Mule Bob. Yeah, Sato, did you enter? Did you enter the contest, or the, the giveaway? We got 13 minutes left on the giveaway.
See, I'm going to cut that right there. Take that piece out. Have to sculpt it around all his boils and his uh, different. Um, <laughs> I personally, if like if Twitch wasn't so um, like really like I would paint a lot more Kingdom Death stuff that is racy. I would paint a lot more. You know, I can't even paint guy nipples on stream anymore because of the the crackdown. The crackdown. It's kind of nuts. But, um, you know, who knows? Maybe there will be other streaming services that will come up and, you know, challenge that. And we'll have, you know, we do have free market at least. All right, that looks amazing. I think it made a huge difference, don't you think? It looks like one piece and then that's going to dry even more strong. See, we covered up parts of the bits that were, that were needing to cover. All right. Let's do, he's got his hands of guts. He's got, let's do his feces. I, that sounded like something else, didn't it? I shouldn't have said that. Oh no. All right. Bear with me while I cover up these these bits and bobs for a minute. There we go. Now it's sort of safe for safer twitch. Ha! At least he's only got two feet. Super glue. One of the other things I really like about Creature Caster is it has these already made drill areas for if you want to pin. So if I want to pin this, that already matches up with that and that's ready to go. I'm not going to pin because I'm lazy and it's mine. All right, I'm going to check chat. We have 10 minutes left. It just put exclamation point raffle if you want to enter the raffle. You have to be a subscriber. All right, we're going to hold on to that. Lamuna says, I won't accept it unless it has a derpy smiley face like the merman. No. <laughs> that, I'm not, yes. I know, Mule Bob, I didn't mean to say it like that. What did I say? I don't even know now. You're most tempted to order this Mooney for your birthday in July? Well, that's cool. Yeah, he's, he's pretty nifty. All right, let's get the other foot on there. Did I already get them? I didn't get the mold lines on this foot, did I? Or did I? Oh, no, I didn't at all. I thought, because we were still working on mold lines, weren't we? Oh man. And that's something you don't want to have to do is try to get mold lines after the fact. Because you always end up finding more after you've, um, after you've primed it. And it's like always a super obvious one, right, right on something that you just can't quite reach. Oh my God. That's a big mold line. There we go. We could, what we could do with this mold line is just sand it off and then add the, the little, what do you call them, the pustules and the bumps after the fact with some of the material that I've got here. Okay. Oy vey, oy vey, there's another one. Get the worst off the claws. 
All right, time to glue. Put some on the edges there. Okay, I'm gonna put glasses back on so I can see you guys. We've got seven minutes on the clock. It is massive. Feet, feet, what did I say? Feetsies, yeah, it does sound like that, yeah. Feetsies, feets. Oops, this way. There we go. Oi. Oh no, you have to stay. I'm gonna have to hold that. Your SOTAR 2020 arrived. Just um, remember with the SOTAR that they do, um, I've been using my hard-earned Steenbeck and I've been just using inks through it because uh, those smaller ones tend to, tend to, um, what do you call it, clog really fast and easy. There we go, he's looking good. Look at how big he is. Even his tootsies are enormous, exactly. Let's see what happens when I stand him up. Oh good, he stands on his own pretty nice. He could be a paperweight. Can you imagine taking this to work and having this on your desk at work, this guy with all his guts on everything? That would be so much fun. The oy vey count is now at six. <laughs> yes, that tends to happen more when I'm building. Hi, Fraley. How are you? I just saw your hello. We're having a giveaway of the Queen of Ecstasy. If somebody wants to throw that link up again so people can see where to get her from. Um, Creature Caster is the, is the, she's a sponsored model giveaway. That's what she is. There he is. Lamuna's got the link for it. Okay, I made a little snake for the mold line on his legs. That's a, that's a big one. Okay, there we go. I think just putting a little water on that. Gap, what gap? We don't have a gap. Not anymore. Okay, more water, because this is, let's just smush that in there. I feel like I need to scrape some of that away with my blade. Got a little bit too much material. All right. That's better. This has been a really fun stream, guys. I really appreciate you all being here. I, uh, I always do. I, I really enjoy doing giveaway streams because it's my way to give back to you guys. We have some really, really generous, amazing people, and especially our subscribers. And the, the you know, being able to give back to you guys is, is really awesome. All right, we got four minutes left on the clock. Trillian says, I, ink is for blending only. I have a Patriot for normal work. Perfect. Oh, it's for ink blending. Awesome. So you're going to use it the same way I use my harder Steenbeck Infinity then. You have three other airbrushes, Lamunas. Okay. Let's cut another piece of that material. Let's see. I like to make that and then stick it in there. Probably don't need that much. Let's do half of that. Ah. Cannot wait to see him all put together and painted. Oh, I know. He's going to get a lot of airbrushing, Ty, and I'm going to start trying to do more airbrushing on stream. I'm just nervous about it. Um, and I'm, so I'm just kind of easing into airbrushing on my own. And then once I get a feel for it and I feel like I've I've got a better handle on it. I'll start doing it more on stream. 
because I know that some of you guys do like to airbrush. All right, we're gonna go just where I can see the gaps. I don't see any more, so um, let's go to this side. Oh, there, there we go. That needs, ah! See this part right here? It looks obviously like it's sitting on top. So we definitely need a sneak, a sneak of material on that. It feels like it's, it is starting to cure a little bit. because it's getting a little bit more stiff than it was. Just molding that in. There we go. Water. Oops, sorry about the camera, guys. Did we, it's got one minute. We're actually about almost two minutes left on the clock. If you haven't, if you're a subscriber and you haven't entered, quick, go put exclamation point raffle. If you wanna pay for the shipping for, well, everybody's paying for the shipping for the Queen of Ecstasy from Creature Caster. She's a beautiful, beautiful model, humongous, beautiful model. And I'm guessing, what could you use her for? For like a slanish model, maybe, probably? You could proxy that, maybe? I'm sure she would tear whatever army that you're fighting against up. Am I right? <laughs> it's like she's shoving maggots in his crack. Yeah. It's entertaining, though, right? It is a matter of practice, Trillian, I agree. And that's why I'm wanting to do more practice before I dive in and start streaming what I'm doing. There we go. Let's see, there's a big mold line all the way around his leg. I need to make this even smaller. Ooh, there we go. Twenty-four seconds. She makes a good good demon for Stannis. Shows you tried out the contrast paints last night. The jury's still out on how they are to me. The final effect, I got the same as painting a base coat and washing it. Still needs a lot of tidying and highlighting. All right, the monthly giveaway subscriber is three, two, one. All right, we're done. Let's pick a winner. I'm gonna pick a winner, guys. Let the bot pick a winner. And Don Peel! Don Peel is the winner. All right, hopefully the bot will email Don Peel. Don Peel, I hope you're here. If you're not, you need to let us know. Well, you need to let us know if you're here. Because if you're not here, we're gonna pick another winner. Because I'm not gonna, we're gonna, I'm not gonna chase people down. Oh, you're here, awesome. All right, whisper me or send me your info on Facebook. You can either whisper it or send it on Facebook, whichever you'd like. Um, and we can talk about how to get this to you. This awesome model. Yes. All right. Congratulations, Don Pio. Have you ever won anything on a stream before? Thanks, everyone. I've been looking at Creature Caster Minis for a while, so this is fantastic. That's awesome. So I wanna let you guys know next month, you might wanna think about subscribing because I'm gonna be giving away an entire Pro Acryl paint set, okay? Again, you'll need to pay for shipping for that, but that is something that I'm gonna be giving away next month and it's going to be for my subscribers only. So that's gonna be exciting. Now I will be having a like follower giveaway at some point, I just don't know when yet kind of like to space them out. Um, but you know what? It just shows that, you know, try to try to make things at least a little fair for most people. Yeah, you love you some Pro, pro Krill. I do too. And I think that's something everybody would be excited about too. 
Everybody, maybe not everybody likes beasties, but everybody likes paint. Yes. All right, we've got another loop of, I just have a little one here. Some of this is not gonna be seen, so I don't need to go all the way up under everything. But anywhere I can see, I'm gonna do that. Echo, oh my gosh, is that you? Is that my first mod ever? I haven't seen, if that is the echo that I think it is, it has been forever and I'm so glad to see you. Hold on a second, if that's you, Echo. It's you, okay, hold on. If you're still my mod. Guys, this is Echo, let's give Echo some hype. Echo's my first mod ever. He's not usually able to be here, but because he's my first mod, I always kept him around. Pretty much once you become a mod for me, you're always a mod for me. Unless you like, you really piss me off, which doesn't hardly ever happen. I've only had that happen with one person ever. But yes, I'm so happy to see you. Ah, all right, that's good. I think this is a good place. Yeah, and I think I think I, some of this some of this um, and we'll take a little material and just try. Let me just try to put this over a mold line and see what happens. Take a little piece of that. There we go. So there's a big mold line right here on this part of his foot. And I'm just curious what happens if I just try to model over it. It's a little water. Oh wow, that covered up that mold line like a dream. I am thinking I might go ultra OCD on this guy today and just cover all the mold lines I can with this stuff. Because I think it's going to make me really happy in the end. There we go. Wow. Oh my God. That's amazing. All right. I'm going back to chat. Oh. Yeah, there's no twig. It's just berries under there. We covered it. You're new to Twitch? What's a mod? A moderator is somebody who watches the channel and makes sure that, you know, we don't have any improv, imp, in a, yeah, my well, mod hot poo. It's a, make sure that uh, people aren't in, inappropriate in my channel. Got some Jacquard Lumiere paints and they're so much fun unless you do it all over it for, like you did, you should stream the what not to do stream. I know, exactly. Hey, Nella, Nella uh, Rob Rob. I think that's how I say it. Hi, Arl. They're the police. Yes, they're like the police. They're my, they're my security team. All right, look at that. I mean, just that little bit of time to fill in those lines and it made a huge difference, I feel. Let's lose a little bit more water. And that will I think especially on the mold lines, like there's just little spots that I think need a little bit of coverage. Like that. Let's see if I can cover that mold line. I am not, I don't tend to be a very attention to detail modeler or even painter. To be honest, I'm being really honest with you guys. I'm a little bit of a slob and a little bit of a slacker when it comes to, but I think if I have a tool that's gonna make it easier, I'm more likely to do it. Right? All right, that's enough of that. Let's just hope I don't make more mold lines with that. Okay, that looks so much better on his foot because I've got that mold line covered. Wow. Okay, guys. So here's the plan. I want to show you guys what, what we're going to stream on Wednesday. It's a new Kickstarter model. Hold on a second. I'm going to get her out for you. 
This is um, a, promo a promotional promo promo type of model. Kickstarters sometimes contact me and they want to help give them a... I just sat on my mic. Hold on a second. There we go. Ah. There. <laughs> Mike. Um, this is the model. She's so pretty. She's supposed to have a little hat. I think that's in my spray booth. But anyway, she's got this arm here and she's got a, like a bow and arrow. Like this. She's very much like a steampunky period piece. Kind of out of the certain time period. But anyway, she's got a cute little hat on. I'll tell you where she's from. Yeah, Mike is not the house. The hose is sitting on my mic. Hold on a second. I'll tell you where she's from. Oops, let me not cover her face so you can see her real well. There we go. We're going to stream this on Wednesday and we're going to paint her. My, my airbrush. We might airbrush a little bit with this. See if I can get that going for you guys. Oh, my computer. I don't know why my internet is being slow today. Here we go. Eventually. <laughs> that might be why my audio and my, my video are a little bit different. Okay. All right, there we go. No, come on. All right, the company is Metal Oak Casting Studios. And I don't think we, oh, I don't have the Kickstarter up. The model is just up for sale. So let me copy that link and I will put that in the channel for you guys. Let's see, dashboard, yes. All right, here's, here is the, okay, maybe not. I can't copy paste in my own thing. Bear with me. There we go. Oh, don't even click on that. Don't even mess with that. Let's delete that. Can a mod delete something that I posted? I don't think you can. Don't, yeah, just don't even click on that. Hold on, let me get the correct link. Oi. It, it did this, all this crazy stuff. Here we go. Copy. Paste this. Much better. There, click on that one. That's a better link. So Model of Casting Studios has commissioned and we also have a giveaway of her. So we're gonna be doing another giveaway tomorrow. We're gonna give away this model. Um, I'm also gonna paint her. That might be for, for my own use. But, um, but yeah, she'll be awesome. We have two, we cannot delete my posts. Okay, I can't delete my own posts either, that sucks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't. Let me see, can I? I cannot delete my own posts, how lame. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna, t yeah, don't time out my, I don't wanna time out myself. Anyway, so we're gonna be doing this on Wednesday. I hope that you'll come by. We're gonna be giving her away as well. So that way, you know, you'll have a vod of it. You'll be able to paint it. It'll be like a like a one-on-one -on -one paint along. If anybody ends up winning her, you can see the little hat in the picture of her. She'll have a backstory too. Cool. So she's available for sale now. Um, obviously, you might not be able to get her in time for the stream, but let's look for somebody to host. I'm gonna switch over to my other sound. Here we go. Let's see. There we go. All right, let's find uh, somebody to, to host us, to host our beautiful, beautiful people. Let's see, is there somebody on here I haven't hosted in a while? Maharoon's on. Let's see what Studio J is doing. Is he doing any modeling today? Nope, he's doing, he mostly does, uh, he mostly does um, weapons and foam weapons and things. Let's see what Key Lime is doing. Key Lime Prime. 
Oh, okay. Look at that. He's painting Marathi, a big snake lady. It's gorgeous. Let's. We're gonna host Key Lime Prime. Okay. Here we go. There's Key Lime Prime. I gotta paste it the right way. There we go. All right, guys, I will be back on Wednesday painting this um, this young miss is her name, this, this model right here, this right here. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye-bye.